All right, y'all, so today we are thrift shopping at the Goodwill in Porter, Texas that I love so much. So y'all come in here and let's go thrifting and see what we can find today. We're trying to get out of this parking lot before I get run over because these people aren't stopping for no one. Anyway, let's go thrift. Okay, let's stop here real quick and take a look at these mugs. I am on the hunt for me some new everyday coffee mugs. Mine disappear all the time. I don't know how that happens, but these blue and white ones kind of caught my attention, but I did not feel like that they would be big enough for me to drink my cup of coffee in because I like just a little creamer in my coffee, so I need something bigger. <laughs> and then also I want to give you a little tip. When you start to see little teacups like this, little coffee cups like this out at the thrift store, they make great Mother's Day gifts. You can get little sets like this, put some candy in them. You can even put a little plant in them, put some seeds for like a garden or just some different flowers for a garden and put some cellophane wrap paper around it. They make cute, cute and adorable gifts. So be on the lookout for stuff like that at the thrift stores now. Okay, so we all know that times are hard right now and money is tight. <laughs> and Valentine's Day is coming up. So look at this beautiful little vase. So tell your honey that you would love for them to go get you a beautiful vase at the thrift store. They can pick up some flowers if they want to get you flowers at the grocery store. Sam's Walmart sells them. You can put that beautiful arrangement in your thrifted vase and you have a beautiful floral arrangement that shows how much you love somebody and you spent probably less than half the price of a florist. Okay, y'all, so this little dog here caught my attention. He has a hole in his neck, and I'm, I'm not quite sure why. Is this a birdhouse? Just a dog made into a birdhouse? I'm not really sure, y'all. I guess somebody else knows something that I don't know because as soon as I put this thing down, somebody snatched it up and threw it right in their buggy. All right, let's take a moment to look over some of their furniture pieces. They had some beautiful furniture pieces. This big old table here was $30, y'all. My local Goodwill hardly ever has furniture anymore. So when I go to other Goodwills, like this one that I'm in today is out of town, about two hours from me. So I like to take a look and just see what kind of furniture pieces they have. That big table back there behind those chairs, y'all, that was a gorgeous piece. Let me know, does your local Goodwill stores carry a lot of furniture anymore? I find that our local ones here where I live just aren't carrying furniture anymore or they're just not accepting it from people i don't know okay and i also thought that this shelving unit here was gorgeous it was so heavy y'all it's been here since november i cannot believe that someone has not purchased this already it's 25 dollars, but i could imagine this with some hooks on the back and some vintage ironstone dishes oh that would be so pretty unfortunately i had no way to get this home because my car was packed down we had been out of town and we were just driving through going home
Okay, and another little Valentine's Day decor idea for you is if you like decorating for Valentine's Day, but you don't like all of the bright reds and the bright pinks, um, I'm kind of like that. I don't like all that bright colors, like, you know, the Pepto-Bismol pink. I'm just not all about that for Valentine's Day, but I wouldn't mind taking like a vintage looking pillowcase or a placemat and cutting out some hearts and kind of stuffing them and making like a little garland or just placing hearts here and there to kind of give the feel of Valentine's Day without overdoing it. So I've told y'all this over and over and I will keep saying it over and over and I'm going to show you why here in just a minute. I'm checking this blanket over. It's a hearth and hand blanket and I absolutely love this blanket. Look how gorgeous it is, but I do want to take a moment, take it off the hanger and make sure it doesn't have any rips, tears, bad stains and I'll show you why because I do want to bring that blanket home, but I want to make sure it doesn't have a big hole. And then I spotted this beautiful queen size sheet that I thought might work in my guest bedroom. So I'm going to do this same thing. I'm going to take it off the hanger. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to look. And this is why. This is why I tell y'all to look because if you would have just kind of taken that thing off the hanger, wadded it up, put it in your buggy, you'd have been upset if you got home and paid like six dollars for that sheet and it had a big old hole in it. So always check your linens. Okay, I've shared in the past also how I love to use scarves in my home decor. I love to hang them off of baskets. I love to hang them off the side of chairs, different things like that. But always double check if you come across one that you like and it has a lot of fringe like this one, make sure that that fringe is not all tangled up because sometimes these get thrown in a washing machine and that fringe becomes so tangled up that there is no way you're gonna get it untangled and you really don't wanna have to deal with that. So pay attention to things with a lot of fringe on the end. This piece here I thought that my older daughter Kara would enjoy because she likes a lot of that modern farmhouse kind of look and I thought that this would be perfect for her whole family because she has five in her family and their jackets and everything would hang perfectly on that. But don't forget before you check out at Goodwill a lot of times they have a area up front that's behind glass. Don't ever forget to check that out because I have found some amazing things right before I got ready to check out in these cases. <laughs> and I did look in that box. There wasn't anything interesting in there, but that's something I always tell y'all too is don't forget to check the boxes. All right, y'all. It is another day now when I'm doing this haul because it was late when we got home from the Goodwill. So what I got was just one item today and it is this beautiful hearth and hand blanket. Y'all, I have looked at this blanket at Target for a while. I don't think they carry it anymore, but I want to say maybe last spring and summer, I was really looking at this blanket. It is beautiful. I'll insert some footage here of like the full blanket. But y'all, I could not believe that this was there. Here is the tag right here, the hearth in hand. And y'all, I'm going to also insert some footage here of a blanket that is very, very similar to this. I would never buy this blanket at Target, 
because it was about $30 when I looked at it before. And because I'm loving adding and incorporating some of these blue colors and I love like the blue kind of looks like ticking strap to me on the back. That is just so, so cozy and so beautiful. I only paid $2.99 for my blanket, y'all. So that is a steal. So I only bought one thing, one and done today. And I'm gonna show you how I styled it here on my couch. And I got some blue pillows last year at Target and I think they complement this blanket so well. So even though the pillows are new from last year, the blanket is a $3 score from Goodwill that I am just so excited about. So let me go get this back on the couch where I had it and I'll show y'all what it all looks like. yeah nothing really fancy just something comfortable and cozy here to go in my living room but hey sometimes if you just find one thing and it's an amazing thing it is worth the trip anyway so anyway y'all thank you so much for coming along and going thrift shopping with me today at goodwill we hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend we love y'all and i'll see you next week with a brand new video